Okay, hello everybody. I'm here to showcase one of the new decks that I'm working on. Um, as far as the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos follow, I am... If this comes up first, uh, which it probably will, my the third part for the Scrap Metal Champs versus Earthbound Crystals will be up shortly. Probably directly I'll start uploading it right after I upload this. Um, I'm thinking maybe making another music video or two, try and improve my skill at that. And I'm trying to decide on a Let's Play. I'm debating on either Bioshock or Emerald, Pokemon Emerald. If you have any comment, questions, or personal opinion on it, I'm having a hard time choosing. Okay, but for the deck of the day, or a deck that I've been playing around with and think it's good enough to be put up on YouTube enough, my Cannon Soldier deck. Very different though. Okay, obviously, trademark monster the deck, Cannon Soldier. I think everybody knows what he does, but if you don't, Tribute Monster. Inflict 500 points of damage. Can't use this effect for like, if you tribute two monsters, they're not going to be, you're not going to inflict a thousand points right there. It has to tribute by his ability. Alright. A card you have, probably haven't seen since uh, Crossroads of Chaos. Quibble Hedgehog. Special and when he's a tuner from the graveyard. If you do, he has to be removed from play during the end phase. Pretty cut forward. Three Mystic Tomatoes. Like everybody knows what they do. Three of the Mecha Bunnies. Pretty simple. Flip them. After they're flipped, they inflict 500 points of damage to the controller of a card you select. So if they're being attacked, you select your opponent's monster. Easy 1500. Also, you can special a Mecha Bunny from your deck in face down defense position. Nitro Synchron. For tuners. Uh, Junk Synchron. I'm working on replacing two, these two Iron Chain Coils. Four Junk Synchrons. Can't find my other two. Turbo Booster. Any normal summon, you can specialist card. And when your monster, you contribute this card to destroy one monster, your one monster your opponent controls that battled one of your monsters. Zero zero. Not very useful often, but I like it. And Card Trooper. You can mill up to three cards off the top of your deck. And this card gets 500 for each. When it's destroyed, you draw a card. That's the monster lineup. Alright, the spell lineup. Two copies of Double Sum. One copy of level, level Limit Area B. One copy of Smashing. One copy of Hand Destruction. One copy of Nightmare Steel Cage. One copy of Elements Controller. Enemy Controller. One copy of Miss Body to equip like Cannon Soldier. If I wanted him to live a few more turns, if I can't get OTK, Book of Moon, Vortex, Swords, and Soul Exchange, which I got from, which I use because I had asked a person I trust on card rulings, and I can use this to tribute one of my opponent's monsters for Cannon Soldier's effect. I use the same strategy for Enemy Controller. Not for the traps. Three copies of Imperial Iron Wall, which makes it where cards can't be removed from play. Copy of Dark Bride. One Gravity Bind. Toriental Tribute. Cease Fire. Flick 500 points to your opponent for each and for every effect monster. Flip effects aren't activated, but they have to be flipped. Grab Iron Scarecrow, Threatening Roar, Wabaku, and the Gate Attack. Now that's the every card in, in the deck, not including extra deck, which is your basics. Now you're probably wondering how does this deck work as far as what does it do. Alright, this main strategy is to get an Imperial Iron Wall, prevent cards from being removed from play, a Cannon Soldier, Bolt and any one of the tuners on the field. 
Sounds difficult, but it really isn't, because your tomatoes search out Junk Synchron or your Cannon Soldier, so if you draw one, you can count one of the four. The biggest problem I get out of this deck is getting either the Quill Bolt or the Tuner, or the Trap. It varies, but Cannon Soldier and usually Tuner are very easy to get your hands on. Alright, now with Cannon Soldier, you can tribute a monster off to inflict 500 points of damage. This is where Quill Bolt comes in. You sack him. That's 500. Okay, now Imperial Iron Wall and Tuner on the field. So you can special him due to his ability. So there's a Tuner. Tribute him. He goes to the graveyard. And Imperial Iron Wall prevents, that's what prevents him from being removed from play. And you can just keep cycling off this effect. And as far as each card goes into detail, why put it in there? Mecha Bunnies are for stall. Just an easy 1500, less I have to cycle to prove to my opponent that they have lost. Um, tuners are obvious, just so I have a tuner. Card Trooper, so I can try and mill more of the uh, monsters. We'll try and mill more Quibbles into the graveyard. Because you can do it with one easily, but it makes... You can do it with one in the graveyard and just bring that one back, but it makes it quicker if they decide they want to be a jerk and play the whole thing out. Special three of them, 1500. Yeah. I put in Turbo Booster because it's a very easy special summon and obviously inflicts more damage. If I don't have Quibble, all my traps, with the exception of Ceasefire and the Imperials, Bribe, and Tori, they're all for stall. All the other ones are just cards that I need in my deck for a little bit of defense. Spell lineup, double summon. If I can hold Can Soldier and a Tuner, my hand for as long as I can, I will. This way I don't have to risk them being gone. Limit, stall, smashing, good defense, hand destruction, try and dump more. Pretty much stall until I can get those four cards out and then burn to death. That's my cannon soldier deck. Uh, I hope to get it in a few duel videos soon. I haven't met anybody around the duel and I don't bring the camera with me. Or I do, but I forget to record anything when I go to my local tourney. Alright. It is out.